Charlie Allred, The Healthy Diabetic. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel below, down there, um, to see all of my videos. I usually make videos of low carb recipes. I'm diabetic for the last 15 years, so I am always looking to make my life as healthy as possible. Um, I was diagnosed when I was 22, so I want to live a long time, right? I remember a doctor telling me that I would have a shorter life expectancy, and I was 22, started bawling. I couldn't hear anything else he said um, because I just, I was devastated. I mean, who wouldn't be, right? So now I make a lot of low carb recipes. I make these recipes for me, my family. I have two kids and a husband. So my husband and I both eat low carb. Um, the kids though, we add good healthy carbs for them because they're running around. They need those carbs every day. Um, but all my recipes I share are usually low carb to help you live your healthiest life and keep those sugar levels nice and low. So here's what I'm making today. I am making eggs in a cloud. Now I saw this recipe somewhere and the recipe that I saw included bacon. So occasionally I eat bacon. I'm not anti-bacon by any means. I know the keto lifestyle brings bacon up a lot and you eat a lot of bacon. So um, it's not that I'm anti-bacon. It's just that I didn't really have any cooked bacon around and I prefer to use uncured bacon if I'm using bacon or turkey bacon, right? So we're always living just a little bit healthier. That's my goal. Or even just some turkey slices would be great. Um, but what I had in my fridge was some uncured salami. So it's low sodium uncured salami. So I cut that up. I'm going to add that. The recipe, I, other recipe I was kind of emulating also had chives. Well, I didn't have chives in my garden. So what I did is I cut up some basil and I'm going to throw that on the end so that it doesn't turn brown. And then I'm gonna add a garlic powder um, mix. So it's a mix that I have in my pantry all the time. And it is, I'm pretty sure, and I buy it, I have to tell you, it has no salt. But um, it has garlic powder, has some crushed red pepper in there. There's some onion flakes in there. This is all the stuff I can see. Um, and then I'm also gonna throw in a little bit of Italian seasoning into the actual cloud. So here we go. I'm starting by separating my eggs. So I have four eggs and I'm gonna separate. I whisked the whites together. So I had four whites and I actually, I started using a whisk and you can do this if you want, but it took a lot of effort to use this whisk. So I got my hand mixer out and I made them form stiff, stiff peaks. You can see that now. It's kind of all moving around, but that's okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add my salami. So whatever meat choice you use. So today I'm using salami. So I'm just gonna add that right in there and fold that in add my Italian seasonings. And my garlic powder mix, which has red peppers, onion flakes, um, and I think probably a little bit of oregano and a couple of other seasonings. So I'm just gonna kind of fold that in nicely. I don't wanna lose, I don't wanna lose those stiff peaks, right? But I do want all that flavor to get mixed around. Yeah, I, I can smell the garlic, it smells so good. So it kind of looks like this. And now I'm gonna scoop out um, four, I'm gonna make four portions out of these four egg whites. I put paper and I make a little well. Bake those for about three to four minutes and then I'm gonna drop the yolks in and bake them for another four to five minutes depending on how you want your yolks. Okay, I'm gonna bake these in a 450 degree oven for about three minutes, so here goes. So now I've baked my mounds of egg whites with the salami and the other spices for about, I said three minutes. I let them stand there about four. I really wanted them to solidify a little bit. And the other thing is that I'm making this recipe for the first time. So I have to tell you that I kind of made a mistake and I don't think I um, whipped those egg whites as long as I should have. So I do have a little bit of drippings. You'll see that in the photos. Um, so I have a little bit of egg white that kind of slid out, just a little, but I still have the mounds. And what I'm gonna do is add the yolks right now to the mounds, put it back in the oven for another, I'm gonna say four to five minutes because I like my egg yolks done more than not. Like I like them a little runny, but I don't want them running all over my plate. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drop the yolks in there and then throw these back in the oven and then I'll be, yum, these eggs in a cloud are going to be delicious. I'm gonna drop just a little bit of basil on the top and then you can dip them. Oh my gosh, you could drizzle a little marinara on there or even a little pesto if you want or just eat them plain. It's kind of up to you. My family likes condiments a lot. So we kind of put salsa on most things, but enjoy these. These are so delicious, low carb, 
Um, the recipe that I saw said they were around 150 calories a piece. It probably depends on how much meat you put in. The eggs themselves don't have very many calories at all. So enjoy, again, I'm the Healthy Diabetic. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel below to see all my low carb cooking videos so you can live your healthiest life. See you later.